So, our res response essentially to the political theatre that we had this morning from the government um, in terms of the announcement um, is that we believe that the wrong decision was taken here. Um, our view is that the most prudent and sensible thing to do uh, would have been to negotiate a precautionary credit line. And the government has singularly failed to explain uh, the reason why they have opted not to uh, put in place a backstop uh, for the country. Uh, we don't know what conditions would have been attaching to any such credit line. Uh, I think that this is essentially about German politics because they don't want uh, parliamentary approval to have to be uh, sought in relation to a credit line. And I think it's about Irish politics as well. I think the government is uh, particularly anxious to have uh, a clean exit from the bailout, uh, not to have a new memorandum of understanding uh, with uh, the ESM that they would have to sign up to uh, as, uh, as a signatory. Um, we believe that uh, the country does need to have a life jacket as we enter you know, what could be potentially quite choppy waters over the next six or nine months. And there are very significant risk factors, uh, not all of which are within our control. Uh, domestically, you know, we are fo forecasting 2% growth for next year, which may not happen. Uh, the banks are undergoing a balance sheet review presently. Uh, they are undergoing full stress tests next year. Uh, that could raise very significant issues for the country. And externally, there are very uh, major risk factors on the downside. Uh, when you look at the economic data emerging from Europe this morning, uh, that the French economy is now contracting, uh, German growth has slowed down quite significantly. The ECB, given its decision this week to reduce the base rate, uh, clearly doesn't have great confidence uh, about the direction that the Eurozone economy is going. Um, so we believe that given all of those factors, um, that the most sensible uh, and prudent thing to do would have been to negotiate uh, a precautionary credit line uh, and to have that life jacket or that insurance policy for the country uh, as we enter what are potentially quite choppy waters in the next 12 months or so. Uh, thanks, Michael. I mean, this will not make any difference to those who are unemployed. This announcement today, we will be pursuing the government for a lot more detail on their employment creation plans. Uh, today, the employment strategy is being dependent on immigration, on some uh, inward investment. We will also be pursuing them on the announcement that there will be a funding uh, model available for SMEs from a German bank, uh, in KFW. Um, they have, we have no detail on that. This is a week when we propose the establishment of an enterprise bank here. The government told us we didn't need it, that they were working on a series of initiatives. Yet we have an announcement that we're going to have our enterprises funded through a German development bank. We'll be pursuing the government for more information on that, for targets, for lending targets, but specifically in priority for us now is job creation and what this government is going to do for those who are unemployed.